Hello, welcome to Color All the Things with me, Melissa. I'm just trying to situate myself here and not having a good luck of it. Back in Momo Girls, I have completed a lot of stuff. I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> um, so let's let's go back into Momo Girls. Let's finish this off. I really want to finish this off. She's so pretty. She's so sweet and pretty. So let's actually start with the lace. Now, white isn't white. Um, there's going to be a hint of purple. So I'm going to take the gray lavender. There's going to be some gray. So I'm going to get some cool grays here. Where's my cool grays? Let's get, let's get a 30% cool gray. And then for some deep shadows, we'll just get the 90% cool gray. So we'll do that for the lace here. Um, so let's just zoom on in and, and go for it. Let's just go for it. I need to sharpen some stuff. I need to sharpen some stuff. So I'm using my M&R two hole. I'm using the small hole, not the big hole. Um, let's see. I am not, am I focused? Sorry, today I'm, I'm all scatterbrained today. I've got a lot going on. I started um, 30 day yoga challenge. I've never done yoga before. I am not even close to being flexible. So this should be fun. So I'm, like, I don't know if you can tell, but my hands aren't very steady because I was holding myself up. My shoulders a little. Not sore so much as I can tell I have used my shoulder. <laughs> you know, sometimes you can tell you have used something. All right, so we're going to start with the, the lace right here. Then we'll go to the lace on her, on her thing. I really want to get this done. I'm really excited to finish this up. Um, so I'm going in with the grayed lavender, just a hint. Um, because it is going to pull some of that purple color from its surroundings I'm going with the so that was that was gray lavender which is the PC 1026 30 percent cool gray PC 1061 and 90 percent cool gray 1067 I am not one to use numbers I'm very much a, a name person I know things by their names not by their numbers um, so I apologize if people like the numbers and I like forget to give it to you. Um, I'm just, I'm really bad about that. I'm sorry. So just a hint, like I'm not going too crazy with some shadows. UPS, no, that UPS is for me. It's my cat's toys that my aunt, or my husband's aunt sent. She, she lost all of her cat toys and it was my aunt who bought her favorite ones and I was like, hey, can you find those again? Because I can't, like, I couldn't find them anywhere in any pet store. I'll go under here with some shadowy too, just a little bit. So I'm using the gray lavender first and then I use the 30% cool gray. He's going to ring the bell. There we go. Then I'm going to pause it after this and get my kitty cat her favorite toys. All right. All right, we got a happy kitty. His aunt sent three bags of the toys. And inside the toys are three, inside the bags are three of these things. They kind of look like the Chinese finger traps. They're not. Like, I, I can get my finger out. They don't trap it. But this is Sunny's absolute favorite toy. Um, and she sent me three bags, which had three of each of these. So I just gave her one, and she is just, like, in seventh heaven. And I'm so happy. Excellent, excellent. Let's see. Let's move. Let's move over to here. 
I found out why. Oh, I forgot some yellow over there. Let me get that real quick before I forget. Um, pretty sure it was like the lemon yellow I was using. Found out why I couldn't find the toys anywhere. No, it was not the yellow. Oh, well, whatever. Um, it's because it's from Meyer, so I'm using the Grade Lavender. We don't have a Meyer here in North Carolina, which is sad because I tell you what, I love me some Meyer. Uh, Meyer is just amazing. I love that store, but we don't have it in North Carolina, which is sad. So <clears throat> when I go visit Ohio, I'll have to go to Meyer and grab a few more bags. Oh, my tummy's going to growl, isn't it? I've been working. I did my 30 minutes of yoga this morning, and then I swept and, and steam mopped my bedroom. So I've done that. I still have to put away laundry. Um, I have to schedule my kids' uh, flu shot. Mine I'll just head into CVS for. Um, but, you know, pediatric flu shots are not really to be messed around with, so I always go to their doctor. I'm going to blend this in a bit more with that cool gray 30%. Oh, Miss Marvel. I threw you out a toy, honey. I threw you out one. Do you want me to throw you out a... a Another one? Do you need another mouse? You've got like 16 mice, honey. Alright, so there's that. See, it's, it's, it's a subtle shading on the white. It's not like harsh, but it gives enough to like... Okay, that's not... It's white, but it's, it's not quite white. Um, let's see. Let me do, let's do her eyes and lips. Let's get that done. Let's see. And I want like a nice subtle pink, so I'm probably going to go for some nectar. Nectar. Nope, that's rosy beige. Do I want rosy beige? Name. Let's set that there. Um, I want nectar. Where's nectar? Um, there it is. Nectar. Then I want deco pink and deco peach. Deco pink and deco peach. So I'm gonna I'm gonna sharpen these because you know. Oh, hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Um that was a company so I use my home warranty um, sorry my husband was just texting because I let him know they'll be here between 12 and 4 today um, they just happen to have a text uh, a text a tech out in my area today so they they were like we don't normally do same day but if you're not busy we'll stop by <laughs> yes please because <laughs> it's very annoying to be like in the shower and if somebody in the in another bathroom or whatever flushes the toilet I have no pressure like it just goes and then it'll come back but it's it's very annoying so we're gonna work on the lips I'm gonna start out with my lightest color which is gonna be the like the deco peach the deco pink um, actually the deco pink looks a little lighter so let's start out with that one. So that's 1014. I'm just going to go um, and lightly go in there. I'm a naturalist. Um, I don't wear makeup. My, my lips are naturally kind of pinky red. So um, I'm not good with lipstick. I'm not good with stuff with that. I'm going with the Deco Peach here, 1013. So that's why I don't use a whole lot of makeup on the girls I color it's because I don't wear it I don't know how to like I don't know how to put it on I don't know how to color it on I assume if I knew how to put it on that coloring it wouldn't be too hard 
So I'm trying to leave a little area. Oh, my stomach. I've done too much this morning. That's what it is. And then I'm going to go in. I want to leave the rosy beige for now. I'm not, not sold on a rosy beige yet. So Nectar, 1092. My husband just got his flu shot. He's like, my arm is sore. Like, You're a baby. So I'm going with the nectar here. And I'm going to leave some areas kind of light. Um, well, shoot, man. That's getting so close. Let me pull in a red. A pinky red. I'll bring in process red. That's not a sharp enough point. I leave, I leave these things for last because I'm, I never know how I want to do it. And it's always, it's always so difficult. Why is it going to be so difficult? Why is it going to be so difficult? I'm terrible at this stuff. Like I said, I don't wear makeup. I don't. So I don't wear makeup, so I don't like look at my lips very much. I just don't. Um, let's see. Let's actually also go in with a crimson lake. I'm pulling everything now here. Well, I feel bad because my neighbor's like, hey, you want to go um, to the movies today? Oh, I like that. Or she was like talking about this movie and she was like, yeah, I really want to see it. We should go see it some sometime. And I'm like, yeah, cool. And then she texts me and she's like, how about noon today? <laughs> no, I had like, my day has been planned since I woke up. Like, I can't just, I'm not one of those people that can just like, go do stuff I need like I need to prep myself for you know social interactions uh, I know that sounds terrible but I do I need to prep myself for social interactions I can't just go do stuff like I need I need to I don't know but now I have like a tech coming, so really can't go. Yeah, I've had my day planned since I woke up this morning, basically. I was just like, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to put laundry away. I'm headed. I'm sorry. I went to the process red. So I was using the Crimson Lake, the PC925. Now I'm going back to process red, which is the PC994. Trying to leave just a little bit of highlight here. Part of me really wants to pull in a black and maybe not a black. Maybe I want to pull in black cherry. I just need a dark color. Black Cherry, PC1078. For these really dark areas. There we go. Oops, I broke the tip. Then I'm going to go back to the Crimson Lake. Oh, I need my... Back to the Crimson Lake. That cat's 
having a blast with that thing. Now, some people have like a little indentation down the middle of their lip. I'm going to go ahead and give her that. Um, kind of just worked out. So to the process red now. Freaking stomach sounds like an alligator. And let's go back to the nectar. Now I'm starting to blend and not quite burnish yet. I'm not quite burnishing, but I am I am using the fairly light to medium pressure. I'm going with the deco pink. I don't think I'm gonna use the peach anymore. And now I'm gonna burnish. I'm keeping a white spot and I am going to take my, my little um, Prisma white and go in just like that. Holy moly! Did I do it? I did it! I did some lips! Look at me go! Sometimes you just got to pat yourself and be like, you know what? I got to quit doubting myself. That's what I got to do. I got to stop doubting. Sorry, I'm putting all my pinks back. That was a whole lot. That was a whole lot for nothing. Or not a lot. Um, as for her eyes, since they are so dark already, I'm really just going to take a green. And I'm going to leave it fairly dark, but I am going to take two greens. So I'm going to take, um, is it depression? Yeah, I'm going to take the Prussian green, and then I'm going to take uh, the Parrot green. So, it is a very dark, and there's not a whole lot I can do, but what I'm trying to do is tint the shadows with this Prussian green. So, it's PC109. I'm trying to tint the darkness, the black area, with this Prussian green. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm going to go in in the lighter areas, the lighter gray, with the parrot green, the PC1006. So she has green eyes. That's it. That's all I'm doing there with that. And then I'm going to take the non-photo blue, PC919. Just going to add a little bit of blue. In the shadowed areas just a touch you may not even see it and then I forgot to color in so I'm gonna go back with the nectar and just make sure that's all colored in all right there so eyes are done lips are done she's looking like a person Color hair. I'm still not sold on the hair. Uh, so let's go to the reds. Let's pick out the reds for the poppies. Um, like I need some real reds. I need Crimson Lake for sure. I'm going to need the black. Maybe black raspberry instead of black black. The black raspberry and then permanent red it's gonna be a very very red flower I mean it just it is so I'm gonna sharpen these is anybody following along I'm curious Maybe, maybe I really should get the black. I should get the black. Just because, I mean, there's already black there. So it's not like I'm changing 
changing it up too much. Alright. So, for the lineup, I have black PC935, black raspberry PC1095, crimson lake PC925, and permanent red PC122. So we're going to start right here. And hopefully if I do all of this, I'll figure out what color. I'm thinking I want black hair, but, you know, we'll see. So we're going to start out with the black. And in these little buds, it's mostly for shadow than anything. Um, and we have light coming from this way, if I remember correctly. Right? Or is it from this way? Shoot! I think it's from this way. Alright, so shadows on this side. Because we've already gone over with... Um, new kitty cats play nice with uh, paint, watercolor. We don't have to like go too crazy with stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go to this one. Which is part of the reason So the order is black, black raspberry, crimson lake, and permanent red. That is the order in which I am coloring these. So the reason I put on the um, watercolor is it just makes it easier, especially in these like big areas where you have these big, big flowers with a big, big dress. Um, it's much easier to color in these areas if they've already got a layer and then you're not worried about making sure that you're not letting any light white show through. Though with the, with the face I wasn't really like, the, the texture th shows. I'm not. I'm not being fancy with that. Making sure it's all smooth. Some pictures I want it all smooth. Some I some I don't care. It doesn't matter one way or another for me. And this is one where I'm I'm kinda like, eh, it'd be what it be. So again, I'm just going in color order. I'm going black, black raspberry. This is Crimson Lake here. And then Permanent Red. Permanent Red I'm using to burnish just a little bit. Um, a really, really blend. I'm really only using like a medium, uh, medium pressure. I'm not going too crazy with it. But just like that. Let's move on down to these. So again, we're starting with our black. Watch the inside of poppies are red, aren't they? Poppy, poppy, poppy. No, they're yellow. Okay. Well, some are red. Images. See, this is what I was thinking. When I think poppy, this is this is roughly what I think of. Um, and so this looks the most like what's what's there. And it is kind of blackish. We'll see. We'll see. So for right now, I'm going to ignore it. I'm 
just do some shading on the inside of the poppy here. Keep in mind that that's the other side, the underside. So I can go up against that. That was the black. This is the black raspberry. See, today left I have laundry. I have to clean my bathroom. And I'm doing this. I've got my bullet journal coming out of the Crimson Lake. What else do I have to do today? Hmm. I can't think of anything else. It's enough though, isn't it? Now I've got the tech coming. I have to eat lunch. I got a roast beef sandwich. We're having breakfast for dinner. I love breakfast for dinner. I'm making French toast. Got eggs I need to use before they go bad. That's usually when I have breakfast for dinner. So when I've got eggs, I gotta use up. Now I'm using the permanent red. Not really too hard pressed about about it. Just I'm gonna burnish some stuff. Color the rest in. Poppies are such a brilliant red that sometimes it can be hard to see any differentiation in things. I need to check the Discord server, the writer's Discord server, and I need to check my nano stuff, and I need to write a couple character sheets this month. I got stuff to do things to do. I still have to work outside. I'm not working outside today. It's going to be too hot. Plus I have other stuff to do that I need to do inside the house. So that was black. This is black raspberry. finish a few pictures over the weekend. Two in Ivy and Minky Butterfly to be specific and I'm super happy about that. If you want to see the finished um, things, they're in my Instagram which is linked down below. One of them I used this cool little brick stencil from Tim Holtz. I thought it was pretty cool. It turned out okay. I need to work on my like uh, placement of stencils because you could like see the lines <laughs> but you know for a first time it wasn't terrible I kind of want to go in and do some green with watercolor on those see how quick this is going and that, since we have a base I'm not having to like put a whole bunch of water down it works out very nice I'm using shadows this is the black Shadows on the underside, shadows against the skin, against the hand. It's black raspberry. I have a lot of books I want to color in and things I want to do and Sometimes I just feel so overwhelmed with all the stuff that I want to get done and that I want to do. Like I want to finish this. We're in what, part five, I think? I don't know. I'll have to go back and look. So this is the Crimson Lake. 
process red. Permanent red, not process red. Permanent red. Those are two utterly different colors. <laughs> Absolutely different colors. I didn't watercolor this one with as much pigment as I should have. But I am thinking about I am thinking about underlying watercoloring her hair a blue because blue black hair has blue tones to it that I've seen. Um, kind of like a raven color. That's how I, I like blue hair. Sometimes it has yellow tones. So that was black. This is um, black raspberry. Sometimes it has other tones to it, but browns and whatnot. Like, it's not a true black. It's actually black-brown and all that fun stuff. Like, when my hair is wet, it looks it looks very, very dark. But I actually have red tones. It's a reddish-brown. So, see how the, the two different watercolor tones gave them different colors? How is this working? Is this folded? I'm going to think, let me think about that while I work on this bud. Black. Black raspberry. Crimson lake. I see a bunch of people are doing Inktober, which is awesome. Um, I am not... So we'll see. I'm not very, I don't want to say I'm not very creative because that's BS. Um, do you want to say I'm not very good at drawing? Which this could be an excuse to learn, but maybe next year. Um, I am going to start doodling. There's some specific doodles I want to put in my bullet journal. So I'm going to start doodling. See, this should have been, there should have been a poppy under here, but whatever. As soon as I get my bullet journal, which is on its way. Let's see, so black raspberry. We have a distribution center out in Durham. So that's where most of my stuff comes from. And now they have an Amazon, a dedicated Amazon delivery service. Um, and what's kind of cool about it is I can get, once they get um, in the neighborhood or in the area, I start getting like, <coughs> I get GPS updates. So I can see how many stops away they are. Usually about 18, 19, maybe 20 stops. I start getting, um, being able to like track them. So I can see when they go to lunch and how far away they are and Basically, I can stock my Amazon delivery driver, which I think is funny and kind of creepy. All right, so that's those done. So now we're going to move over to the other side. Mail. I've got blues clues stuck in my head. We just figured out blues clues. We just figured out blues clues. I wonder if I'll get a. Uh, a copyright thing for the Mananana. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Or is it, is it old enough it's no longer copywritten? I 
the happy birthday song is no longer copywritten. It, it had actually, um, they'd gone to court. I'm going to assume it's like really dark in here. They'd gone to court um, because the copyright paperwork was false. Um, so for the last 30 some odd years, there's actually been no copyright on the happy birthday song. Back to Black Raspberry. Which is interesting. I love fun little facts like that. But the fact that, uh, Crimson Lake now, the fact that the Happy Birthday song was copywritten, or supposedly copywritten, was why a lot of restaurants, <coughs> excuse me, would make up their own songs when they would, you know, tell your server it's somebody's birthday and they come out and sing a song. But it was never happy birthday. The do 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 do. Um, because it was supposedly copywritten. Um, so that's why they do that. Because they weren't allowed to, you know, they would have to pay, they would have had to pay royalties. By the by, um, the current holder, or the, whoever was holding the uh, copyright for Happy Birthday at the time of the lawsuit had to pay back millions of dollars in um, royalties that they'd collected for use of the song. It's a lot of poppies here. I don't think I'm going to do all of these on screen. But what I will do is finish up the rest of this page with the poppies. I'm going to zoom out and get my Mission Gold watercolors and do the two watercolor things that I want. So let's zoom me out. I'm going to zoom me out. I'm going to pause it. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got um, an empty water brush. Hold on. Okay, <laughs> now I have a full water brush, Maltau, this is a medium, I think, the three millimeter. Um, so again, I always check for how wet it is on my finger. Oh, I forgot the lids on these don't stay. Uh, so I've got my wipe, I've got my Mission Gold colors, and I think I think for the greens, I'm just going to go with like this nice bright sap green or viridian or what is it? Yellow green. Sap green is over here. Sap green is that. Shame on me. I'm going to go for this yellow green. Nice, bright, pretty. We'll start over here. I'm going to stay zoomed out so I don't have to move um, stuff quite so much. Nice light hand. These Mission Gold are very, very pigmented. It's very nice.
when I watercolor, I concentrate. So if I get quiet, I'm sorry. Make sure I'm getting everything in frame here. All right, now I'm going to move over to this page. Do I have it all? There we go. I'm all in frame, so I don't have to worry about it. I can just go, try not to knock the camera with my big fat forehead. Is that? Oh, they're both over by the door. Silly cats. I've got my Girl Scouts journey all set up just waiting for next Sunday or this Sunday I guess it would be huh because today is Monday I should probably do the the yellowy centers too while I've got the watercolors out that would be good Anybody else like Imagine Dragons? I've got their song Thunder stuck in my head. that the cats prefer to play with things under a door. Like it's, it's funny how they just, if they can, you know, bat at it from the other side of a door, they're infinitely happy. Think of what color blue I want to do her hair. Out of my 
almost want to go that way, but that would be too close to the... I may just stick with this one, the uh, Prussian blue. I love the uh, the mission gold because it doesn't have a chalky feel. When it dries, I have a texture issue with some watercolor paints where, especially oh my goodness, especially like the the Windsor Newton Cotmans. Oh, those are so chalky. It's almost it's almost like painting with gouache. Gouache is super chalky, chalky, not chocolatey, chalky. I can talk. <clears throat> gouache is chalky as well, and I don't like it. That's why I don't have any gouache. Well, I've got gouache, but I don't use it. I'm trying to be careful not to pull any red into this, because that would be easy to do accidentally. Hi, Sunny. Where's your toy? Did you lose it already? Let's see if she finds the one I have sitting on my desk. Those are my watercolors. No, no. She's just a purring machine when she's got her toy. Aren't ya? I wonder if she puts them somewhere and then forgets. So that's the green. I'm going to kind of wipe off my brush here so I can go get the Prussian blue, which if I'm looking is the very last one here. All right. So let's get some. And... Go for it. This is going to use up a lot more water than the leaves did. So, got to keep my brush wet.
I am going for color variation, just FYI. What's nice about having the Prismacolor already down is it acts as a little bit of a barrier um, because it's wax. So if I get the blue somewhere I don't want it on the face, I can pretty much just wipe it off as long as it doesn't dry. I'm doing good. That's a big area. Trying to go in the direction of the hair. a spot that looks like it should be a little bit darker I'm gonna go in and just kind of darken it up a little bit there there's the underpainting for the black hair <laughs> oh I wanted to do the ins the yellow inside so I'm gonna use um, this greenish yellow so you have yellow green and then you have green yellow, which is this one. I'm 
and just get those insides. Just some of these that I went around. That's crazy. That's great. Super duper. Put that away. Put that away. Close this up. Set it to the side. Well, that's gonna have to dry. We'll do a little. We'll do another poppy or two. Let's do that, and then we'll we'll call it. Let's go on and do the ones here. So going in with the black and then the black raspberry, right? Yeah. Black raspberry and crimson lake and permanent red. Yeah, that's going to take a little bit to dry. So here we have, we have already got some like black areas and I'm just going to reinforce those. Looks like there's shadows under here, so grab that. And with the black raspberry, let's go ahead and grab a little. I don't necessarily like coloring at the crack of the page. Be kind of loose. Just be aware where there are shadows. Where there are lines that would cause shadows. Try to follow those. Time we're at 11. I'll do this flower and then I've got a skedaddle. I've got stuff going on apparently today. Uh, Crimson Lake. Stuff going on thanks to my own doing. That's okay, it needs looked at. I need to go online and pay the service fee too. Now the permanent red. It's going to be kind of awkward in this area here. I've never mastered coloring in the crack. 
If anybody has, let me know because holy cow, hats off to you. I try to bend my book so they have as little crack as possible. That's terrible. All right. That's where I'm going to call it. I'm going to finish up these. Um, oh, stretchy. I'm going to finish up these flowers on my own. Let me zoom out here. And then the only thing we'll have left is the hair, the stems, and the background. The background, I'm absolutely using Pam Pastel at this point. I am not even going to, like, mess around. But I am debating between going with a turquoise or going with a yellow. So, we'll see. We'll see how that works out. But y'all have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell button if you want to get notifications of when I upload or go live. Um, it's a little bumpy. It's not too bad. And then um, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.